there's a cycle of leadership in my view that starts with simply great leaders attract great leaders. Because if you cannot attract great leaders, you've got nowhere to go. At the end of the day, the core asset, and lots of organisations talk about it but they don't practice it, the core asset of any organisation is its people. So its core competency has to be leadership. And if you can't attract great leaders, you will get nowhere. I remember very early on in the piece, we were trying to still work out what it was that we could do with this extraordinary asset that had been mismanaged for over a decade. And I managed to acquire, attract, a couple of really, really talented people who stayed with me right through the journey, who joined only a year or so in. And then they attracted great leaders. And their leaders attracted great leaders. And performance started to improve. And as performance improved, the organisation could attract great leaders. So we went through a cycle in terms of attracting those people. But the second phase, because you can't just go on attracting great people, the second thing is ensuring that your leaders are aligned to purpose. It's the trouble with great people. So they have great ideas, and they're good at executing. And if you're not careful, before you know it, they've created the idea and executed it, and it's not what you wanted to get done. So make sure you align your leaders to purpose. And then as you roll on through this cycle, because it sort of follows chronologically, great leaders create great leaders. It's all about building leadership from within. And if I look back, post now, nearly 12 months on since the sale of what was a public company, Liberty Global took out some 600 leaders from the organisation. The whole of the group executive committee, half of the next layer, and a third of the next layer. As you would do. It's a global cable company. It didn't need the infrastructure of a standalone organisation. But two of the people who are now significant leaders in the organisation, came through great leaders, create great leaders. Where we brought our own people through the organisation and developed them further. And it's interesting, if you think about this fix, differentiate, grow that I spoke about, you can actually map great leaders, attract great leaders to the fixing of the organisation and the improvement that resulted from that, you could map it. And then you could map the next S-curve, which was great leaders align to purpose, to differentiate, and the things that we did that differentiated us from everybody else in the marketplace and gave us competitive advantage and the commensurate results of that. And then finally, mapping great leaders, create great leaders, to the growth period of the organisation and the consequential movement in terms of those three metrics, people, customers, shareholders.